breaking contact with one sec. Out. Hello, thanks for watching my video. Today I would like to share some basic information about two iconic US military radios, the PRC-25 and the PRC-77. The PRC-25 is considered the milestone radio. The PRC-25 was the first solid-state FM tactical backpack transceiver, also first to use the now standard 150 Hz tone squall system. A development contract for the PRC-25 was given to RCA back in 1952. RCA made four prototypes during the next years. By 1961, the PRC-25 XC3 was ready for trials. This prototype was a little different from the final model. The final version of the PRC-25 entered service in 1962, but very few were fielded till 1964. In the summer of 1965 the limitation of the PRC-10 were obvious, so General Westmoreland issued an urgent battlefield requirement for 2,000 of these new radios. The Signal Corps responded by shipping the entire stock of PRC-25 on hand, only 1,000 units. The PRC-77 entered service in 1968 and differs from its predecessor mainly in that its final power amplifier state is made up of solid-state components and not vacuum tube. Also, the PRC-77 has the ability of using the voice encryption equipment. The transmitter's previous emission had been reduced and the receiver had been upgraded with better selectivity. Front panel controls. The controls are so simple that anybody can operate this radio. Off, on, squelch, retrans, relay, and light. You light the display. Volume, knob, new design audio connectors, the U229, kilohertz turning knob. Megahertz turning knob, preset frequencies. You can pre-select four different frequencies in each band. The preset function permits the RTO or the commander to change the main frequency without seeing the frequency window. You can program this preset by unscrewing 
the two nuts and adjust the stops at the desired frequency. Band selector knob, lower band goes through 30 to 52 megahertz and upper band goes through 53 and 75.95 megahertz. Antenna mount, you can connect the short, the long or the wire antenna here. External power connector. and 50 ohms BNC connector. This is for vehicle antennas or base antennas. This radio offers 920 channels across two bands using 50 kHz steps. The power output is rated at 2 watts, although you can find radio with higher output. The radio weight was almost 14 pounds. Many accessories were produced for the PRC2577 to help it fulfill many roles. Audio accessories. The PRC25 was issued with the 838 handset. This handset was an improvement over the older ones, the 833. The microphone has a cancelling device that suppress combat noises. This handset was replaced by the H189. This newer handset lacks the cancelling mic. The H250 handset appeared after the Vietnam War and includes the cancelling mic. The H161 headset and microphone was widely used. This also has the cancelling microphone. This headset includes a chest PTT. Also, an external loudspeaker, the LS454, was attached to the radio side. Antennas. The short antenna is the AT892. also known as tape antenna, push battle whip. It is a three foot and use an antenna base that is called gooseneck. This antenna you can have between two to three miles of coverage. The long antenna is the AT271. It is a 10 foot antenna and the AB591 is the rubber spring base. Maximum range is 5 miles. The short long antenna is the AS2109. It was an attempt to make the two other antenna in one.
the AT984 long wire antenna. It's a 150 foot antenna that is mounted horizontally to the ground, four feet above ground level. You have to point this antenna to the other station. Using this antenna you can cover between 12 and 18 miles. You have to use this base in order to connect the antenna to the radio. Batteries. The magnesium battery is the BA4366. This battery delivers 14.4 volts along with 3 volts. The lithium battery is the 5598. It's smaller and you can carry two batteries inside the battery compartment. Radio harness is the ST138, allows the radio operator to carry the radio on his back. And here you can see the bag, the carrying bag, the CW503. is the antenna enhanced pouch. Here you can store the antenna that is not used and a spare handset. 